Hey guys, it's Caitlin here and welcome back to part two of my Queensland build or my like renovated Queenslander. Basically, if you didn't see the first build, what a renovated Queenslander is, is pretty much like a typical Queensland style house. Usually, I mentioned in my last video, but usually they're quite run down and things like that, but they do look really, really nice once they're all done up. So I decided to do a done up version. So yeah, like a renovated Queenslander pretty much, because they're pretty that's pretty much what people call them, like a Queenslander. But yeah, um, just with this video, I did actually accidentally delete some of the footage um, because I was doing a whole clean out of my computer and I accidentally deleted, uh, I think it was only one slide of the footage for this because I do have, I think I had like five different clips for this or something like that because often when I build I'll take breaks or I'll go and watch TV or something then I'll come back to it later or I'll do them on separate days. Um, it just really depends because I try to fit it around my work and everything else like that. Today is my day off though so I am getting lots of work done. Usually I'm not this productive when it comes to making videos but so far I have filmed and edited one video. I have also edited another video uh, with voiceover and everything, they're all ready to go up onto YouTube and now I'm onto this one. So I've just finished editing this one. Now the trouble I've been having with editing is with my computer issues, I haven't been able to uh, speed my videos up um, as much as I would like and I hadn't been able to uh, put all of the footage into one video. So I did have to do this Queenslander into two parts. I did find a free software um, that speeds it up so I am speeding up with that. Unfortunately though you can't do a voiceover over there so I have two editing softwares just to complete this one video just to get everything all in one video. Um, and so hopefully it's not too fast for you guys. I did try to keep it um, all in one video uh, and as close to 30 minutes as I possibly could um, but I did also want you guys to still be able to see what I'm doing. So basically this room we're going for here, it's not really, um, what's the word? It hasn't really been designed for a specific gender. I feel like this could be either a boy or a girl who uses this bedroom and I really like it. I think it's very fun, very colourful um, and light because we've got these big large windows. I really really love those windows like I've never actually used them in a build before because I've never done a build that suits them but I really like them in this build and I think that is one lucky kid to be able to have nice huge windows like that the kid might not think so but honestly they're beautiful windows to be honest um, so yeah we're just getting lots of blues um, we have a painting on the wall there um, that is actually a CC um, yeah a CC item that came with the tropical getaway mod um, so yeah, I do quite like that painting though, it does look nice with that wallpaper. Um, there is a couple other CC items in this. Um, I am trying like so hard not to use CC, but once you've got it in your game, it's so addictive because it's like this. It's like think about you're going back to the base game, like if you have all the expansions, right? And you try to cut out all of the expansions and just build with the base game. It's kind of like that with CC, except you're trying to build with everything that comes with the game um, and forget about the CC. It's really hard to forget about it once you've already used it and everything like that. So it was very difficult. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, and I think I did well not to use as much CC as I usually would. I am doing better. I'm slowly trying to cut it out of my builds, just step by step. I haven't been able to do it completely yet because I just love some of the items I have so, so much. Um, but I'm trying my best to keep as minimal amount as possible. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what more there is to say about this room other than it's very, very cute. And I quite like how I put that little like desk there. Um, I originally had a shelf there, but um, I can't remember what the deal was with the shelf. I think it was because it was kind of like poking out of the wall a little bit and I didn't like it so I thought it would be better to go with a table and somehow make a sort of a desk there. I could have put a realistic desk there, like a real desk, but I, the thing is I didn't want it to have legs. I kind of wanted it to look like it was a built-in bench. So that's why we, you know, did that little thing with the table um, and all of that. And I thought it was really cute with the little uh, puffy thing. What do you call those seats? 
I don't know, they've got a funny name, but that little yellow seat thing there. So this room I believe is a teenager girl's bedroom, if I remember correctly. Um, and this one is very, very simple. I wanted to keep it very clean. I because what I've done with this build is I've decided to put like this little neutral children's room and then I've also got a another room that I feel like could be like a preteen room. Um, so not exactly a child but you know just on the edge of being a teenager and I felt like this room here was going to be for more of a older teen like a teen that's a little bit more sophisticated probably somebody that's more like you know nearing towards 17 18 and the other room that you will see shortly is more edging towards you know the young teenage years like 13 14 um, so yeah this one is going to be very clean and very bright airy and a little bit sophisticated and it's also going to have those nice pastel colors I feel like uh, young 17 year olds um, and that they do like the soft you know it is in trend right now the soft uh, pastel colors and I feel like it really hits that age group so that's why I've got some nice pastel colors in there this is a CC item this wall paint or wallpaper whatever um, it is a CC item so uh, yeah I think this is up on the gallery if it is and people download it they will need to change that wallpaper but I'm pretty sure there's like if you wanted to go with the same color scheme I'm pretty sure there's like a wallpaper that's the same color it just doesn't have that white wooden trim thing at the bottom half of the wall so yeah I also decided to have this little mirror just with the little flowers on there just because it, it I felt like if I had it too white and stark and clean then there wouldn't be uh, you know it feels that there is a there is a teenager or a young person living in this room so that's why I've done that and just you know, use a simple mirror, but it's got those little uh, flowers in it. Those flowers really do add a little bit there. Um, we also have one of those little poof. I think that's what it's called, a poof. The little seat thing there, and a little colourful, fun pattern, and a pot plant. And then we just get a painting on the wall, and that's pretty much it for this room. I don't actually think I put any lamps uh, on the bedside tables, and now I look back, I think I should have if I didn't. Um, I was probably distracted because no doubt I was probably watching YouTube at the same time as this or listening to music and honestly when I listen to my music I sing really loudly so I do get distracted easily with that but yeah do we actually not put I really don't think I do put any in there which kind of bothers me now that I've got nothing on the side tables not even like flowers or anything please tell me I do put something on or at least some wall lamps oh there we go okay so we do get in some table lamps, that's good. I felt like that would be, like, it would feel a little barren if I didn't. I don't think we put anything in this corner though, because I really didn't want to clutter it up. I just want it to be as clean as possible, because we've also got the wardrobe there, so. I think, because like in my room, like personally in my room, everything's away in the wardrobe, and I've just got my bed, pretty much. I do need a desk though, so when I record, I've got some place to put my computer, but at the moment, I really don't like to have much things out. I do have a, uh, a guitar though, just, you know, in the corner of the room, just because it looks kind of nice. It's broken, so I can't play it, but it looks kind of nice, so. And I'm not that good actually at playing guitar. I own a guitar, but I'm not that good. Um, I actually did get given that guitar quite a few years ago when I was still living in New Zealand. I It was a gift from my grandma and my auntie, an early birthday present, because I had been posting on Facebook a lot that I really wanted to learn the guitar, so. Uh, both being musical, like my grandma plays the flute, um, my auntie, she's really good at the piano, my dad also plays the guitar, so because my grandma always used to encourage them, um, and actually, <laughs> apparently, um, sometimes my dad didn't want to practice but he had to, but yeah, my grandma encouraged them to learn how to play instruments, so they can all play an instrument, and my grandpa as well plays the piano or the keyboard but piano and the keyboard are kind of the same thing I think uh, he also plays the saxophone so yeah I've got a very musical family on that side and I guess me posting on Facebook wanting to learn and my grandma you know naturally having had her children learn and having 
uh, being able to play herself was like, oh, my granddaughter wants to learn, so uh, she decides to do something about it and she got me a guitar. So I, I mean, I wish that I was able to learn, but I have a lot of difficulty trying to learn. Like, um, not necessarily. The, it's not necessarily the chords itself that I have difficulty trying to learn. It's the um, I can't read music for one. Um, and the other thing is I am like completely honest. I'm a little uncoordinated when it comes to playing instruments. Um, piano seems okay, but I tend to play piano by ear. I'm not that good anyway, but. I play by ear and just with the guitar it just I'm just very uncoordinated and I can't switch chords quick enough I also can't like hold a chord like my fingers get sore if I try and hold a chord apparently it all comes with practice which you know I would believe because practice makes perfect pretty much but I feel like once my guitar broke it's been broken for a while but once my guitar broke and seeing as I really struggle I just kind of gave up on it I Maybe one day when I'm older I might want to, like, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so pretty much we are now onto the kitchen slash dining slash lounge area and I feel like I chose very neutral colours. I kind of like this peachy pink colour. It's a little bit feminine but I do like it, I must say I do like it. Um, and we do put like a little um, ottoman there. just so that you can have like a little spot to sit down and read and I thought using these grey curtains or black I think are they black or grey I don't really know but I felt like using these dark curtains on these light walls looks really nice because I felt I like it's it's I noticed it's a trend at the moment having pastel pinks or like rosy or dusty rose pinks with dark greys and charcoals and you know just why it's just nice clean colors and soft colors I think they look really nice together my room itself um, is actually you know got this color scheme going on on my uh, bedding and stuff and once I accessorize the rest of my room I plan to also carry the color theme throughout the rest of the room whether it just be in decorations um, or anything like that um, I also do have like silver wooden rods for my curtains because like in my bedroom like all of our bedrooms we don't actually have proper curtain rods because curtain rods are really expensive um and so my parents just got makeshift um dowel rods i think they're called dowel rods they're basically just wooden rods and my dad chopped them up so they fit the length of our window um and i was really tired of seeing that ugly wood but honestly you can a spray paint silver black white whatever you like it really does the job just to pretty it up a little bit and here I was thinking if I was going to paint in silver uh, it would kind of still look ugly but I must admit I do like it I feel like I feel like I don't really need a curtain rod anymore because I do really like the silver stick funnily enough although I think eventually they will be changing it but I don't think they're any in any rush because it's not much of a big deal I mean as long as there's privacy up I don't know. I'm pretty sure everybody else does similar things with their house when they can't afford things. They just make a little makeshift something something or who knows. Um, so yeah. I'm not too sure. Looking at this kitchen, like I'm very unsauced about this kitchen because it's so square. And I'm really not into square kitchens, yet I made a square kitchen. And I think it's just because it fit nicely like that, but I'm still not completely sauced on it. So. It's a little bit interesting that I did that, but oh well. Oh yeah, so here is the top floor bathroom, which you guys actually missed. This little bathroom here was actually included in the footage that I accidentally um, deleted. And it's a very dark bathroom, but it was inspired by a paint pamphlet. So when I went to our hardware store, I, of course, as I always do, I look at things like paint and anything that can decorate a room pretty much. And I look at all those little paint swatches, the little cards that you can collect and take home when you want to paint your house or something like that. And I literally like went through all of these different colors uh, and I grabbed some of the pamphlets as well to have a look at how they've used the colors. And in one of them, they had this really, really cool black bathroom with subway tiles um, at the bottom. And since I had, you know, a wallpaper that looked like that, I pretty much imitated that bathroom. Now, 
They did have some really, really nice pattern tiles in their bathroom as well on the image, which I wish I could have put in because they add so much to the room. But unfortunately, we don't have pattern tiles. I uh, like that in The Sims 4. And you know what? I hope we do one day get pattern tiles because that would be like really awesome. I'm, I'm into pattern tiles as long as they're used correctly and as long as they're used in a setting that makes sense and that actually looks nice because you can do a really terrible job and make pattern tiles look really tacky or you can make them look really really sophisticated so I do like them if they look sophisticated so yeah this is the preteen bedroom here um who knows if we're gonna have a, a kid live in it I mean I kind of wished with the parenthood pack that there was like a another age group like a pre-teens because I feel like teenagers look too old I mean I could always customize the teenagers so uh, give a teenager a look that maybe makes them look a little younger um, but perhaps they're just tall um, and then give them a room like this and then make another teen that looks a little older and like they dress more sophisticated not so childish and things like that um, there is though, there is a mod though, like a height mod that I was contemplating about downloading but I know, I have heard that it does sometimes mess with the gameplay, like, I mean, it's, it's, it's to be expected really, I mean, with a mod like that where you're changing the height of an object, the animations, you're not exactly changing the animations along with it, so say if you were to have a couple who were hugging and you have one that's shorter than the other the animation is going to be a little off skew I think because of the fact that you've changed the height but haven't changed the animation so yeah also with this bedroom I want it to be kind of fun um, like I said it was going to be a preteen it does have a dollhouse in there uh, <laughs> which to be completely honest when I put that in there I didn't really think about it that much now that I think about it I feel like a dollhouse would probably be like a little too old for this room this person would probably have something more along the lines of like, you know, a, a guitar or something like that. Or maybe like a little computer desk. Um, we are getting a little one tile computer desk though with the new parenthood game pack. So who knows, I might go ahead and change that later on to a desk. Because I do think that the dollhouse is a little too young for this to be a pre -time. Also these like little toys that are placed, you know, around the place, probably a little too young as well. Um, but oh well, it doesn't really matter I don't think. We could also like maybe do it the other way around, like have an older child and have a younger child in the other room or so on. Uh, but yeah, so it's a fun little room, nice and pink and purple, but it's also got some of that edgy black which I like because I don't really want it to be like really soft girly but I did want to have some sort of girly feel to it so that's why I've got the, you know, the really deep blacks. I mean, black is only one colour really, so that's why I've got those really dark colours along with the soft purples, because I think it looks nice. So, now we are moving on to the office. Now, this is a bit of a skill building room as well. Uh, I wasn't too sure whether it would look good having skill building objects. I mean, we've only got like a paint easel, that's pretty much it, but I put a couple of like paintings on the wall, sketches, um, what's the other word? That little like drawer statue thing that's got the paint on it, I've placed that next to the easel as well just to make it look like it's a little paint space. I feel like in real reality you probably wouldn't have that in a uh, office room like this because it's quite a clean room and there's couches in there and it's nice wall prints and I think if you were to have paint in there you might possibly run the chance of accidentally splattering and paint on something nice especially because I placed it right next to the white couches I think and that's not exactly the best idea but you know it's the sims they're not going to spill any paint so it's all good unless we have the toddlers from the new parenthood pack who come in and make a little bit of a mess but I'm pretty sure the paint only goes on the floor that animation is actually really cute I can't actually wait to see it in gameplay like I, I don't know like do do they get, can they get disciplined and told off or, I'm pretty sure they can, but yeah. So, I 
I've actually run out of things to say surprisingly usually I have a lot to say I think it's probably because like I said earlier I've done quite a few videos today um, I have done a CC shopping video which hopefully will be going up possibly tonight or tomorrow I will see um, and we've got another video that I have done for a collab that I'm doing at the moment which at the moment is supposed to go up on Wednesday um, and I have no idea when you guys are going to see this video the collab could already be up or it might not be it but it's supposed to go up on Wednesday but that's not exactly a definite that's kind of like what we are aiming for but it's not the definite because um, you know we both have jobs and just trying to work everything around I so yeah it's that's all ready to go so just whenever um, my little collab buddy is ready as well then that will also go up and I won't tell you guys what the collab is yet I I don't like to tell people beforehand what the collab is going to be because I like it to be a surprise um, usually though it is going to be a build though most collabs I do are a build in fact every collab I've done is a build because I'm not really sure if there is a collab you can do that isn't a build unless you like there with the person um, so yeah Okay, I took a quick little pause there just to take a break, get up and stretch. I'm recording in my brother's room today. So you'll probably notice that these couple of videos that I just spoke about just before and I mentioned that I've edited them, they're all going to mention that I'm in my brother's room because I am doing these all on the same day pretty much. Like pre-recording and stuff because I've got work on, what's today? Monday. So I've got work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then I've got Friday off again, but I do want to go into town Friday, so um, I probably won't be doing anything for the rest of the week, like maybe I'll do some recording, but I probably won't be doing any editing for the rest of the week, so you'll notice over the couple of the last videos that they've all been done on the same day, like voiceovers anyway have been. So yeah, I decided to get up and just take a little break, take a little stretch, because um, you know, I've been sitting down all day uh, since 11 o'clock. It's now 4 p.m. I haven't gotten that many videos per se done, but it's all the editing. Um, the fact that I have to edit across two different softwares and export that and wait for that and, you know, yada, yada, yada. There's just so much that goes into making one video that you do spend quite a while on it and I think most other YouTubers will agree that very rarely do you get to finish a video like really quickly unless it's like one of those videos that you've recorded um, and you don't need to add a voiceover on or like you just need to add music or something like that because like myself I do cast videos and I just add music on those I don't really think there's any point in speaking in a cast video I I think I may have spoken like once in a cast video when I was first new to YouTube. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a while now, I think. Um, long enough anyway to know that there's no point really to put music, um, to put a voiceover, sorry, on a cast. I know some people do, but a uh, majority of people don't. They just put um, music on. I think it's because it's like most of the time it only is the end. Blah, a little bit tongue twisted but it only ends up being like three to six minutes max depending on what kind of cast you're doing. Um, especially if you're using CC items, I find that casses take way longer. I barely ever like upload any of my casses to the gallery though. I don't know why, I just, I think it's because I use a lot of CC with those. Um, actually, you know what? I feel like doing a cast video now. I posted a cast video the other night and I really enjoyed it with the like the CC items and since I've done a CC shopping video and got a bunch of new downloads I really want to do a new CC video so I might actually do that later on while I'm watching TV because sometimes I do actually um, you know record or edit while I'm watching TV like usually during the ads so I'll probably because I find when I'm watching the TV program, I can't concentrate on both without, you know, one suffering. So I'll either miss what's on TV or um, I'll be really, really slow with my build. So usually I will do it in the ads um, and just, you know, stop the recording in between and all of that. Um, but yeah, I was going to say something before, but I've totally like, I don't know, I've just totally forgotten. Um, 
I just really can't remember. I do have a bad memory though. I mentioned this so many times. Oh, that's right. Actually, no, I do remember what I wanted to say. I really want to do another stream this week. Um, I know I said that in my previous videos, but this time I'm serious. I was always tired after work on the, you know, on my, you know, last week and stuff. I think it's because I was frustrated because I was up, you know, for extended amounts of you know, extended period of time at night time because I was trying to fix my computer and it was really frustrating and of course when things are frustrating you don't want to do it anymore and it makes you tired trying to figure out everything and I also had like a night shift last week and all of that stuff so I was pretty tired and I just I just never got around to doing a um a what do you call it a stream I also got like you know in the afternoon I got caught up in my collab, you know, just recording my collab. I got caught up in doing that. I had actually planned to do a stream and I just, I got caught up. But seeing as I'm doing so much work today, being very productive, I will most likely be doing a stream this week. And I'm not too sure when, not too sure when yet. I usually just advertise on YouTube because I never know, I'm on Twitter I mean, because I never know until the day of if I'm going to be doing a stream or not. So, yeah. Um, I did actually... Perhaps I'll do a stream on Friday. I mean, seeing as that's my day off, I could possibly do a stream on Friday. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So, I just want to... Like, I, I have a feeling that people are probably wondering why did I upsize a ottoman and then like place it at the bottom of the pool and I did that because um, most pools these days they have like some sort of seat or some sort of step area where you can hop into the pool and who knows if the sims can actually get in the pool still perhaps they can um, because I don't think the game will really register that pool I mean that ottoman as being as big as it is, it probably only registers as something small so I'm pretty sure that the sims will still be able to float around and pull above it and things like that but I thought it would be kind of cool because we've got a pool um, in our backyard and we've got some of those steps like there's, I know there's like a really skinny one I think down one end and then there's like you know a relatively good sized one just so you can sit down um, at the entry of the pool I guess where you've got the steps and stuff like that um but yeah can you guys believe I have lived in this house since December and it is now May it's May isn't it yes it's 22nd 22nd of May um but can you guys believe that I think I've only swam in that pool like two or three times and in the previous house that I lived in with my family I never swam in the pool, I walked around in it on the steps at least, like just put my ankles in, but I never swam in it ever. And then the house we lived in before that, that also had a pool, I swam in that all the time. And that's pretty much because at that time I used to bike to walk and, um, no sorry, I used to bike to work and I used to walk to work sometimes and I was already, always hot when I got home after biking and stuff so I jumped straight in because usually when I would bike I would bring a pair of shorts and t-shirts so I could change from my uniform into that just so I'm a little bit more comfortable biking home and as soon as I got home I would jump in the pool in my clothes because we weren't really like strict on that and like never said that we had to wear our tops or anything so pretty much just jumped right in and cooled off and then went inside after work pretty much but yeah I think we are coming up to the screenshots very shortly in about a minute or so so I think I will end this voiceover here and I hope you guys enjoyed this build as much as I did because I absolutely love it so so much um, and I'm glad I'm not as tired as I was when I recorded the voiceover for part two but yeah Anyway guys, thank you again for watching and if you like this please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I will speak to you guys all next time. Bye!
Sleep like a baby, come home and die. 